Seeing Palu Rob. Okay, starting right now. And Jen, um, we're talking about how versus Jen is versus Tilde. Jen versus Rob is just um, so, so, so versed in this matchup. Probably Jen's best matchup. Uh, Jen's actually one of those people, you know, a lot of people like to be of the belief that Rob is busted. Rob is really, really good. Jen's one of those people that say no. The Rob mates are kind of right. This character has flaws, and this character isn't as good as people say. So, and able to do really good versus Rob. So we'll have to see what Jen does here. Go. And seeing Jen so far do so good at uh, you know finishing finishing their plate when it comes to ledge guards, but Dill certainly no slouch when it comes to mixing up her recovery. All right? Ooh. Yeah, I think Jen had to had to recover high there at least from uh, from that position of warp. Yeah, I think Jen was probably hoping that like uh, the Rob would commit to like a down like a low option like go off stage and then the high recovery would be safe but dill just she's up to just stay there and wow really clean stuff instant backer from that down tilt yeah no jen now in control of the gyro not gonna be letting dill do too much with it tried to get a few combos going yeah but, you know, sadly nothing, nothing sometimes you know you're just trying to freestyle and Ooh. And this right here, you know, with Jen, you see how Jen just turns away from the player and stands still because the looming threat of that Pali back air just totally can shut down Rob, can shut down every character. It's quite literally invincible. Mm -hmm. That was a great read on Dill uh, just there, catching the platform cancel by Jen. Let's see what the recovery is this time. Jen going low. And when you are playing like Jen right here, just really opting to hold the down spots that you choose and press Palu's such good defensive aerials, it's like, how do you get this comeback for Dill, you know? Because Jen's just not going to let you really run away with, like, a huge combo or get, like, a free opening. Now the onus is on Dill right now. To get Jen's first stock, Dill already at 106%, while Jen's still on his first stock. Yeah, this, this could be a lapping, or this could be a stock, two stock lead right now if uh, Jen just gets one read on Dill. And that fair, still not even killing. Yeah, no, great spacing uh, by Jen right there. Dill was looking for the pivot grab, knowing that the uh, the gyro was a threat on the other side of the the stage. But there we go. Finally, the up throw going to be taking Jen's first stock at, I think it was 190 after Yeah, hit. very high. That was a bit of a sloppy air dodge from Jen. I think after grabbing the gyro, um, got kind of panicked when seeing the laser come out. But honestly, could have afforded to get hit by that weak laser. It wasn't the strong one. Mm -hmm. But a whole stock lead with Jen's play style, I feel like just means so much. Both these players are, are people that hold leads so well. So it's just like for Dill, she's going to have to totally change her like really patient play style to make a comeback like this. And I, I don't know if she's really able to do that right here. Just mix it up enough to be able to catch Jen off guard so much you make this comeback. All right, here we go. Getting this. Ooh. Oof. I do respect the attempt, you know? Yeah, you, no. You need to make something happen. That could have been pretty big. Yeah, good on good on Jen, though, to kind of bait it out with the fast fall double jump. Dill now at 100%. Yeah, Dill does do that a lot. The, the up B into the double jump hitbox. Jen is ready for it. Good, good patience by uh, Jen right now. So much of this game has been Jen staying at a mid-range, facing away, and just threatening the back air. And wow, great jump catch right there. Two stock coming mm -hmm. out from Jen. Great scoop. Shout out to the Matcherino now at $4. That's four, Let's go. four Arizona iced teas for, uh, for many things. <laughs> That up air caught from so far to the right. All right, and we're going to be seeing the Kalos counter pick coming out from Dill. Uh, Dill, I think, looking to looking to get herself some space to really play the game that she wants because Jen just really didn't allow that in game one. 
Yeah, I know Dill is, she's definitely a fan of uh, Kalos. That being said, I think Jen also is really comfortable on this stage. I think Palutena in general doesn't mind FD, you know? It's a place where you can catch landings so strong, get your strings so strong, like nair strings across that whole giant flat stage. So um, it's there's it's hard to really like super well counter pick Palutena mm -hmm. because she's kind of such a like good general kit that she can make a lot of stages work for her. And now 105%. Yeah, just right now. <laughs> such good stuff. Dill normally can be pretty tricky, but Jen just reading every spot she's going to be in. Yeah, no, right now it is absolutely looking like Palutena's playground, uh, getting some platform extensions uh, just a second ago, capitalizing on Dill's missed tech on the right platform. Finally, Dill getting some percent on the board. We find much after the down throw. What's the recovery look like? Double jump hitbox but it's going to be making it out. And right here, this is where Dill does have a chance to turn around. Because of Rob's like a nature at ledge, you can get kills at this percent quite easily. But whiffing right there, and Jen opting to down throw, not wanting to stale the back throw. Ooh, all right, Laser actually going to be catching that forward air. Dill once again had the read on the, the platform cancel, but just barely missed her spacing. And the back air is going to beat out that gyro toss. Ooh, and clean stuff with that grab after the down air on the spot dodge read. The fair actually beating out the uh, Palu dash attack is not something I expected to see. Yeah, I, I think it was just like after the hitbox came out that Dill managed to somehow get a fair. And this, I'm still am surprised it went past the shield. Wonder if it was like just a weird animation and the invincibility was already gone. <laughs> But, wow, this was pretty close. Um, Dill was not down too much after losing her stock, but just hasn't managed to close out the stock versus Jen. And Jen sitting at 141. Yep. Still doesn't feel like in too much danger the way this game has been going, you know? It really feels like Jen can hold onto these stocks for yeah. such crazy percent. This is roughly what we saw in uh, game one, is Jen living to these crazy high percents, and Dill losing that second stock uh, fairly quickly afterwards. Yeah, that down throw bear isn't true with Dill's DI. She DI'd away, but I think because Dill DI'd away, like she knew it wasn't true, so she didn't feel the need to press the button. You know, she knew that she was out of combo range. And so Jen calling that out did a really quick aggressive option to just call uh, Dill sleeping at the wheel. Mm -hmm. right, nice up smash. Dill some space, a get off me tool. Now Dill has to find a way off the Kalos platform against Jen, who has been so oppressive at the ledge so far. There's the double jump. All right, nice patience. Okay, Dill was. Oh, that's a big punish on the arm rotor. And this right here is where Jen gets just like all of his percent, just waiting like on ledge on sentry stage and totally covering Dill trying to go in. Good Nair though, and that's gonna be the first time, that's like the earliest stock Dill's taken by quite, quite some margin. Absolutely, 100 as opposed to you know, the 200. Go 515, thank you for the subscription. And now look at this. 40%, 50%. This this is possible, you know. This is definitely looking a little bit um, optimistic for Dill just because she's having some momentum making a comeback. I mean said Jen shutting down all the momentum with really good usage of Dill's gyro. And that whiff. Let's get directional air dodge out. Auto reticle gonna waste some of that gas. Ooh, I Oh, that was scary. Dill just barely drifted out of the way of the Nair. Going to be given her second oh. chance at life, but the jump over back air. That could have been death for Jen right there. It could have Teleported been. right in Rob's face. I, I wasn't ready for it, and it looks like Dill wasn't ready for mm -hmm. it either, you know? Sometimes something so bad, it's good. Uh, and teleporting right in um, Jen's face, or Rob's face right there, just totally caught everyone off guard. Yeah. Was it intentional? I'm not sure, but we'll have, only Jen knows. Yeah, got, got caught in kind of a... Uh, a deer-in-the-headlights situation. Yeah, for sure. 
especially when it's like a tense like last stock it's really easy to have those deer in headlight moments happen you know just like what yeah here we go we should be seeing it <laughs> yeah <laughs> The reaction time was just not there. And, I mean, I don't blame Dill because who expects a Palutena to just suddenly be in your face like that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Whew. Yeah. Dill starting to show shades of adaption. It was really the whole reason that was such in Jen's favor the whole time was because Dill could not 